about electric generator by the name itself generator by the name itself we can determine that it's it, it is generating something again north south we have a coil we have a coil okay a b c d such that this is it this is this wire is moving inside this coil outwards and it is attached to another hole ring the rings that were attached in case of electric motor was a split ring these are slip rings okay they are like this the wire is from inside is like this this is the slip ring the first one and it, the wire is moving here it, it is not touching to this and then it is attached to another slip ring okay okay let's say this ring is r2 this ring is r1 okay now we have carbon brush attached to it We have carbon brush B1 and B2 attached to it. Galvanometer measures the current in the circuit, whether current is flowing or not. Now, we'll draw two cases. Let us first study the first case. What is happening? Let's say there is a shaft in between. Okay, there is a shaft in between an iron rod which is rotated. Okay. Let us rotate it in anti-clockwise direction. I am trying to rotate it. Okay, let us rotate it in anti-clockwise direction. So what is happening? We are applying a force to AB in the downward direction. There is a magnetic force in this direction. Okay. Now, one thing that I missed to tell you. In here, we won't be using Fleming's left hand rule. Right? Electric motor, we used Fleming's left hand rule. For electromagnetic induction, we use... Fleming's right hand rule again this is the third rule that we need to know the Fleming's right hand rule says that if the thumb shows the direction of our force the magnetic field is shown by the same thing current magnetic field then force now here force magnetic field then current so if the force is applied downwards the magnetic field is applied towards north to south then the current will be moving outwards so the current will be moving like from b to a similarly if we're talking about here magnetic field direction is this the force is upward the current direction will be in that direction i if if you if just check it out the current is there the force is upwards magnetic field this direction right current upward the current moves the magnetic field is this direction the force is upwards the current moves in from D to C okay as we see that so how is the current here it is moving from A it will move on it will pass through this slip ring okay if I make this slip ring nicely it would look like this first let me draw the slip rings and then the wire is passing through this like this okay now you it's easy for to you to understand from B to A, it's moving. It comes out like this to this ring R1. Okay. Now this ring is known as slip ring. Right? These are slip rings. These are carbon brushes. We know that. They are not in this wire comes in contact with this. The current is moving from this direction to this direction. Okay. This is the first situation. Okay. Having drawn that. Okay. I hope that you have drawn this situation. In second situation, what I do is that okay so what happens is the force has been applied cd moves upward ab moves downward they are in vertical position due to momentum they they replace their positions so what happens this this complete ring will be turned okay this complete ring will be turned and it would be like how, how, how will it be okay if i erase this 
the rings will have the same position of course right now let us name it this d position will change c position will change this diagram will change of course the force being applied okay b c d a right now this will be d this will be c this will be b this will be a a is connected to this slip ring right d is connected to this ring okay this position changes completely okay it is inside of course now what is happening again here in cd at first cd was moving upwards and ab was moving downwards right the current was being produced was from this direction to this direction now what happens we are saying from c to d if force is it is experiencing a force downward magnetic field is this direction current direction is this now as we see the current moves and comes to ring r2 r2 is attached to b2 now the current direction is here right now the current direction is here and the current direction is there so we see here that in case of electric generator the current is reversing its direction in first case it was b1 to b2 in second case it is b2 to b1 okay right so we are seeing this b1 to b2 and b2 to b1 what is happening here is actually current is flowing continuously but the direction is changing right the direction is changing and such kind of current is said to be alternating current if we want a straight current that is b1 to b2 and if you want that it will uh, that b1 and b2 must flow always so instead of slip rings what we use is we will use a you'll get to know it what i do is i use a slip ring why so because then it would be connected to the same brushes it would be connected to the same brushes right uh, th this is be wire this would be the wire right and this would be the galvanometer okay let me do this nicely now these are carbon brushes here they are just in contact okay now this ring r2 and r1 is attached to cd right d c and this is attached to a b as it moves from d to c this one now first a to b it is moving right a to b was first attached it was moving from this direction to this direction so here and here the current was moving this way right if you have drawn the first diagram i am asking you to draw it repeatedly draw the first diagram draw the second diagram and now the third one okay only here now when rotated ab took this position and cd took this position the rings would take this position and this position but still cd producing the current would not go in this direction it will go in this direction only so in case of by using split ring we can have current that actually moves in only one direction now the current that actually moves in only one direction is said to be direct current okay it is direct current right kids this is it now most of the kids would think sir the current is moving like from here then from here then from here then from here so what is happening um, uh, like uh, uh, let's say if a bulb is kept there what will happen it will like glow and uh, it will glow and off glow and off glow and off no that is not the case what would happen is current is actually present in the circuit as a whole current is present as a whole the only thing that is happening is current is changing its polarity right and it takes like 1 by 100th of a second to just take this thing in india it is 1 by 100th of a second to change the polarity right that is alternating current and this is dc current to have dc current we'll use commutator rings in case of a generator to have ac current we'll use slip rings in case of a generator